Um, at the age of um, 32, 33, I separated from my husband. And uh, I started drawing on my own at home. Then I started painting. And a friend of mine uh, gave me a painting set one Christmas. And so from then on, I started painting, but I was not knowing really what I, I was doing. And I did some paintings and um, kept doing them for a few years. And then around 194, uh, no, 1973, I think it was, I went to the Goez uh, Gallery that was in Los East Los Angeles, and I took some paintings there. And they were very nice to me, and they suggested, well, I really think you should go to Self-Help Graphics. And so I asked, where was Self-Help Graphics? And um, his name was, what was his name? You have to forgive me, I'm up in age now, and I forget names. And anyway, I, I, uh, I went looking for Self-Help Graphics. I walked up and down Brooklyn Avenue looking for Self-Help Graphics. And I could not find self-help graphics. So a few months later, I was able to uh, get some of my work by chance through a friend into a little gallery in Monterey Park. Now, going to this little gallery was a big thing for me. I'm in a gallery, and I'm not trained as an artist. I'm self-taught. So that was exciting. But I come to find out the gallery was never open. They just had the artwork in there, and it was never open. Somebody called me by the name of Pete Tobar and said they were closing the gallery and for me to come and pick up my work. So I went down there and Pete Tobar was there collecting his work and he told me, it was Christmas 1975, and he told me, he says, he says, Money, he says, why don't you come with me to self-help graphics? I says, oh, you know where it's at? And he says, oh yeah, I know where it's at. So we went. And I walked by self-help graphics many times and did not see any sign because the sign was, for instance, like there's a, a way in to the door. The sign was way up on the top in the inside. So nobody saw the sign. At least I didn't. So we go there. We climb all these stairs. We go up. And it was a dance hall. It used to be a dance hall. And when I walked in there, I was amazed. I was so happy what I saw. There was a lot of artists there. There was beautiful artwork on the, on the walls. There was a big, big sculpture uh, piece with photographs on it. And sculpture pieces were three, three dimension with the art, with photographs on it. And they were photographs of the artists that were there of their grandparents, great-grandparents, families, well, people that when, you know first came to this country. And I just fell in love with it. I said, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life, exactly where I want to be.